Hi guys, this is Chrome Effects Films here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the physics in Unity. Uh, I'm going to be going over the properties that Unity gives you for the physics engine. So uh, I'm going to make a simple scene here, so I can show you guys. So I'm going to create a cube, just make a basic floor, and then I'm going to create a sphere. All right. Now, in my menu bar tutorial, I did show you guys how to get to um, physics and how to add things to your object up here, like components, what all the components do. So I'm just going to add the physics. And rigid body is what we're going to use. So as you can see over here, it has mask, drag, angular drag, gravity. Uh, all right, so I'm going to start with the first one. Um, the mass is the weight of the object in kilograms. It's, um, I recommend making the mass like not really not mo any not more than a uh, hundred because so it, sometimes the program can kind of glitch out and your object will either be going like falling through the ground or, uh, yeah, glitching out. So and it it won't react to. Uh, other rigid bodies. There's a high chance of that. So I would I'll make this like 15. All right. Now the drag is the uh, the air resistance that uh, is affected by the object. Now drag and angular drag are actually two different things. Drag is the air resistance on when it moves, and the angular drag is when it rotates. So um, I'll just keep those the way they are. And moving on, gravity. That's pretty self-explanatory. Use gravity means that you know the object will fall and it'll be affected by gravity. And when you uncheck it, it won't. Uh, you can actually change the gravity of your entire project by going to uh, Edit, Project Settings, Physics, and then over here it says Gravity, and you can change. Um, I believe the default is negative 9.81. Uh, you guys can change that to whatever you want, but be aware that it will affect the rest of your game. So you got to watch out for that. All right, the next one is kinetic. Now, uh, kinetic makes the object not driven by the physics engine, but it can still be affected by other physics objects. So it, it can still detect like uh, colliders, and objects will still react to it as if it had physics, it's just the object, object won't move. Yeah, this is useful for like uh, moving platforms or stuff like that. Or animating rigid bodies that have uh, hinge joints attached to it. Next one, interpolate. Um, this is if your object is really jerky, like the physics, if, if they're like really jerky or something, I can't really give an example here because this is a very basic scene, but you will notice it, uh, if your object becomes really jerky, um, the op the options that they have here none interpolate and extrapolate none it means that uh, it won't do anything like as it is now it's not uh, using this function uh, interpolate means that it'll make it smooth like it'll smooth it out uh, you you will notice it it won't be jerky it'll, it'll kind of be moving uh, smooth and it's smooth based on the transform of the previous frame um, extrapolate is where the object is smooth based on the estimated transform of the next frame. Uh, you will, if you test those out, you'll actually realize what the difference is. Freeze rotation means that the object, um, uh, the object will never rotate based on collisions or forces or anything like that. So if an object hits it, uh, it wouldn't start rotating and start rolling. Collision detection. This is used for for um, preventing like fast fast moving objects to go like right through it. So it doesn't matter if you have an object going at like a thousand miles per hour, it'll still not go through it. Um, continuous is used for collision detection against static mesh colliders, and continuous dynamic is um, for objects that are uh, moving. So I guess this would work for um, elevators. So if your object is moving up and down, uh, it won't fall through because it uh, has the co continuous dynamic on. Next one, this is uh, constraints. Uh, this is 
similar to the freeze rotation, except um, actually it's pretty similar. So I'll just go freeze position. Um, freeze position means that each one of these boxes that you have checked, it will make this object not ever move on that axis. So if there's pressure uh, pushing it in a certain direction, it will not affect it no matter what because it will not move along that certain axis. Uh, rotation is the same thing. Um, if you want an object to only rotate on one axis, that's what you do. You just you would if you want it to spin on the y axis, then you would check x and z, and it would make that disabled. That is it, guys. That is the basics of the physics engine in Unity. Um, I might go in in a more advanced tutorial for the uh, intermediate section of my tutorials, and hopefully, in there I I will have a better scene and a more complicated scene to show you guys more complicated things that you can do with physics. So thanks guys and see you next time.